We're <laughs> Wait, we're I, welcome it's, back. It's, 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 Maplebrook. it's Maplebrook. We're the live. Town. The town uh, has risen. It's become sentient and also four separate people. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have my oh, notes no. open. I suddenly realized. Whoopsie. Boop. There we go. Yeah, open the open of Swissy's notes, notes. Asshole. What? No, don't, because there's spoilers in there for my character. Yeah, there's there's spoils for many things. West has been fucking ripped this whole time. <laughs> but he's, yep, you bet. he's deciding it. And eventually he's gonna beat someone <laughs> there. I can't believe Wes I can't believe Wes has a JoJo body. No tweet I told Holy I told shit. Swissy to make the tweet mall guy. I'm working on it. Jesus Swissy. Christ. Anyway, Swissy. anyway, I will. Hey, it's uh Maple Brook. I'm your DM, Super Ninja five five zero six. And I'm joined by three right fools. Right Actually, you're uh, the keeper. I'm the keeper. See, five five zero six, and I'm joined by three fools. <laughs> the keeper of the fools. Which one of us is the cool one? None. None of us. Damn it. Well, my my I character's mean, hot, so. Just... I mean, I think by process of elimination, I think Adva's the cool one, but no, no, but also no. Not. My cool score is literally <laughs> plus two. Oh, you mean if you want to go by statistical, yeah. <laughs> Josh, there's I love how you and I were both like, no. <laughs> Josh is there's not a, cool. He wears cargo li- pants. There's literally nothing cooler than, than quoting what your <laughs> actual score is. <laughs> Think oh, cargo yeah. pants. That's, see, that's what's so cool about Connor. He can he, His he, cool he score goes out plus in two. cargo pants. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so cool uh, last week on Maple Brook, uh, our three heroes, played by these idiots, uh, met up and <laughs> and went after some rumors of missing people. And they eventually, found, eventually, slowly, painfully, so, someday. And they uh, also fought some zombies, and that was weird. And then an old man showed up and uh, tossed two of them magic rings, too. and he was also weird and beat people with a flail. And then uh, <laughs> also weird. <laughs> Real weird. <laughs> Everything was weird, apparently. Just a lot of a lot of weird stuff happened last week. There was a bus that was really creepy. Uh, and also beat people with a flail, you know, as you do. So he did. A salad. He had a medieval flail. I said. Yeah, how this. much was that salad, Swiss? Uh, it was uh, two ninety nine, and the mac and cheese was two ninety eight. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Swissy. <laughs> Swissy has taken really specific. Swissy has elected to take very specific notes. Also, also Wes listens to ABBA. That's another thing. I yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. do remember that from when I was re-listening to this a couple hours ago to make sure I didn't miss anything. So, <laughs> so the uh, immediate of what happened last week, where like where we're hopping back in, is, uh, the uh, older man wearing a I don't remember. I think it was a jacket. Oh, coveralls. Naked. Yeah, yeah, he had like no. coveralls and a an, like an baseball MU, uniform. He had a he wasn't in a baseball uniform, he just had a baseball hat. Oh, oh, well. Famous part of the baseball That's uniform. Half the I think the kids call that a dad cap these days. Uh wearing overall See, uh, Oh, hey, I have I have my man bust in. Oh, hey, I have it in my so notes. Where's o- where's overall overalls as well as a beaten old MU cap of an indeterminate age. Thick plaid sweater. These are the notes that I have for this man. He's uh, Canadian, he, I see. He led you out of the woods and into the, uh, over to his Not shack, worse. where I believe all of you entered. I don't remember. We did. Yeah, but that's, yeah, I don't know that's where you are right now. Uh, so he tells whoever went in last, hey, close the door behind you. Which would be West. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he so is I'm, always the last to enter. Really. Oh, the last place, West. <laughs> that's him. Okay, so as as you all get settled, the uh, inside of the the inside of his no shack cheating. is like somewhere between tidy and extremely messy. Like everything looks organized, but you can't, for the life of you, find out how, like organized what manner chaos. by which what manner by which he organized this place. Uh, this does that too? Word. Uh, so he <laughs> takes a seat in a uh, folding chair that's against a or that's right next to a guest a a desk rather at one side of the room and he sits down and uh turns to the three of you and says so i'm sure you've got a lot of questions Uh, yeah says 
Why can I summon gun? I say summoning gun. <laughs> uh, that there gun is magic, is what it is. So it won't hurt me if I shoot myself? That might be a... S <laughs> mm. That's a tough question to answer. So the gun, the weapons that I t gave all of you were, uh, let me go back. Uh, so, wow. number one, monsters and, uh, magic, those things are real. Uh, that's a reality what? you're just gonna have to live with at this point. Uh, most of the monsters, there's a lot of monsters in this here town, and most of them are pretty cool. Uh... So, you don't have to worry about those ones, but every once in a while, there's ones like that one out in the woods who is are decidedly less cool and start going around attacking and killing people. And that's where, well, I used to be a we, but now it is just an I step in and uh, deal with that situation. Uh, I belong to an organization known as the Hunters. It's always a very small organization, although it's incredibly small now as it is just me. Uh... The Hunters have been around since the town was founded. Basically, all three of the main monster factions in the town agreed to let Hunters take care of anything who harms humans to keep them from, like, stepping on each other's affairs or whatever. Uh, all Hunters wear these magic rings that allow them to summon tools of the trade, and they can only harm monsters. So, as long as you're not a monster, that gun is not going to hurt you. <laughs> That's good to so, know. So how do, do we know those? Uh, how do we know those guys in the woods weren't just like uh, drunk or something? Oh, they I've were. They, they, they were. They were very I dead. <laughs> they were very West, dead. Uh, you actually. Hmm? West pipes up a little, and he says, uh. "So, do you want to try shooting yourself with that?" <laughs> no, <laughs> because he totally saw Connor heal up. Back do there. what? I don't know what you're talking about. I was just curious because, mm. you know, it I shouldn't hurt you, but even if it did, you might just, you know, seal yourself yes, up. Yes, because I'm about to shoot myself because this <laughs> this lumberjack that took us into his shack said it won't hurt me. I'm a groundskeeper, <laughs> first of all. Uh, anyway, so I'll I'll get back to the exposition and you can finish your argument later. I take it you guys don't know each other very well yet. Uh, so the rings yeah, give, the mon give hunters the tools that they need that they can't harm humans, basically, is their rule. Uh, they're made of some sort of, like, hard light magic. I don't understand exactly how it works. Somebody way smarter than me made these things. Uh, but they can only mimic real-world weapons. So, like, if you summon a gun, it still uses ammo before you have to recharge, since it's essentially breaking off a part of itself to do the damage. Uh, which they, they'll recharge gradually, just as kind of using your life force, as long as you're wearing it. It does, it's not dangerous. Oh, okay, it's dangerous to monsters, but, like... It's not dangerous. To, it won't hurt you to put the rings on. Uh, I'm basically the last member of the previous generation of hunters. All the other ones kind of died of the old age. <laughs> <laughs> the old age. Gets right. them every time. Yeah, there hasn't been any new recruits in some time. So that's basically... That's most of the stuff that I've got for you. Unless you got any, like specific questions All I think this guy's off his rocker I don't so there's that um, <laughs> cool I'm, I'm glad at least <laughs> I'm glad at least one of you believes me I mean one of you one of you summoned a magic sword and the other one uh, dressed up your wounds there so like uh, you know and you did a cool magic uh, thing. So you did was, a cool uh, magic thing with the knife. So I'm just wondering, um, because my leg is still a little banged up, uh, mm. is that self-healing thing something that is a cause of the rings? Hmm? Oh, I don't think so. And certainly not the one I gave I him. <laughs> I see. I still have no idea what anyone's talking you, about. Uh, Connor, you get... You, <laughs> You get the feeling that uh, this old man mm -hmm. knows some things. And you get the feeling that he kind of knew them just by looking at you and is playing along because he doesn't want to, like, blow up your spot. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, old guy. 
Do you say that out loud? No, of okay. course not. <laughs> Oh, the na the name is Nigel, by the way. I didn't. I'm sorry. I've been quite. I've been rather rude at, while saving your lives. My apologies. Thank you for that, Nigel. No problem. I don't know your name. I'm West. Like the direction. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this left sound. <laughs> yeah, like, like the direction. Cool. Uh. You might like. know my dad, but I'm not sure how closely related you are to the university, but he's, uh... Oh, I work Mr. here. Wordsworth. I'm the I'm the groundskeeper. Oh, your father's Coach Wordsworth. Ah, I gotcha. I, yeah, I yeah. see the I see the resemblance now that you mention it. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're both I, hot. I, yeah, it's... <laughs> how did you, it's I, hot. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that out loud. Personally. Of course. I didn't say my dad's hot, just so we're, just so we're clear. <laughs> just so everyone's crystal clear about I, what's I, happened. Yeah, no, I figured. <laughs> and I am uh, really late. Uh, should be going now, so I... catch you guys next time. Hmm. Connor begins shuffling towards the door. Wes grabs him by the arm <laughs> and sits him back down. <laughs> no, I don't like that. <laughs> I sense of... West is a little more than suspicious right now of a few people. <laughs> I raised my eyebrow at him. So why did uh Uh-huh. Sorry if this is a little intrusive. Why did uh it's very intrusive. Why Frankly, did I Adva... don't have to answer. Why did Adva not need a ring? Um, why she was had... her binder clip able to just do that? Uh I can't matter. I don't know the, <laughs> I, I can't tell the exact origin, but it seems she has some kind of, like, holy power. And I could tell that that binder, binder clip, clip could tell that that binder clip was actually a very powerful weapon in disguise. Yeah, that is weird. I, we should talk about that. I see a, I see a lot of things. See, I've got a, I've got something of a gift. It's called the sight, which I know sounds silly, but I didn't name it. Uh... It basically oh, lets me, lets me see through the bullshit. Essentially, I, I can t I can see things for what they truly are. I see. <laughs> he gives he gives a pointed look to Connor. Connor Connor does not meet his gaze. <laughs> Fair, frankly, is looking elsewhere. So you mentioned rapidly. Uh... You mentioned there were three major families that agreed to let the hunters do their work. Are is that like three major monster families? Because you did mention that. Yeah, yeah, kind of. So, so there's I'm, could keep I'm, order. I'm not the I'm not the best person for this necessarily, but like the town is essentially like you're the only person right now for this. I, that's fair. I can set you up with some stuff later. Um, there's a so there's three major families in town. There is the uh, Angel family, which is the Gabriels, uh, there is the Vampire family, which is the Von Helsigs, and there is the Werewolf family, which is the Lupons. It's pretty on the nose for all three, don't you think? Yeah, I yeah this is starting to sound I, more and more ridiculous. I'm pretty I, sure this guy's pulling our leg, like, everyone. I mean, I know what I saw out there. Yeah, it's just three, two shuffling guys. Then this guy came and beat him up with a flail, and you shot them I, with a gun. You, you know, I can't explain the gun that <laughs> someone suddenly appeared. That's true. It's in your head That's right now. Wild. <laughs> you know, I still can't explain this. <laughs> that is true. That's accurate. But everything else seems sounds pretty ridiculous. I don't know about I make that. Make the gun go away. <laughs> the, <one. laughs> the gun goes away. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> so you need I, you I, need I, more you need more proof that monsters and magic are real, do you? And uh, he signals to West. He's like, turn off the light for me for a second. He does so promptly. Okay. Uh, he walks over. Once the lights are off, there's still like a dim candle light in the chab in the cabin because I guess he had a candle in there. Don't think about it too hard. Uh, he right. walks over to a like stack of rakes in the back of the room. There's like okay. a bunch of rakes leaning on a wall and he tilts like the third one of them. 
and you all hear a clicking as mechanisms were to life. And the floor in the center of the room begins to, like, you know, in that one Mario Kart level where, like, the stairs fall down and it makes a staircase, and also, like, a lot of video games, actually? It does one of those with the floorboards. And there is now a, at the bottom, in the center of this room, there is now a a wooden staircase leading to a large wooden door. And he uh, beckons you to follow him down the stairs uh, as torches light the way down the staircase. Uh, This is how people get murdered. That's why you should go first. You have beckoned (laughs) down staircases. You have you have a gun. Look, all right, stop bringing up the gun. <laughs> Maybe you should put it Frank, away, then. I, I'm a very old... I already did! I'm a very <laughs> old man, and there are three of you, so, like, you know. I also did, right, sa- rock, I also paper, did save your lives. Just throwing that one out there. I could have just let zombies murder you in the woods, but, like, I didn't. <laughs> so those were, in fact, zombies. Oh yeah, they were allegedly th- zombies. Kind of, uh, zombies is kind of a colloquial. They were more like thralls, I think. It's hard to say. I don't know what the, I don't know what the like kind of the main thing is yet. We haven't. Uh, kind of hard to do research when you're a one man crew, a one man very old crew. <laughs> right. So right. yeah, right. he he walks down the staircase and uh, waits at the door at the bottom of the staircase. Uh, no matter who goes first, I stick to the back. Fair. I, Unless somebody literally, like, swoops behind me, but... I push, <laughs> I give a Unless somebody a nothing personnel kids you. Why? <laughs> You're going. God. Fine, fine, whatever, fine, sure. I summon my gun, and I <laughs> walk down the stairs. In front, and the people with melee weapons behind the gun. <laughs> whatever, fine, that's cool. No, fine. I'll go get. I'll go get murdered down the, the death stairs. Whatever. Which death stairs. Have you been down? This isn't the first one. What? <laughs> yeah, because it's <laughs> common that was, to be that led was to me. a shed and then have the fucking hidden rake summon the stairs with the torches. They didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Sum, the stairs were there the whole time. Listen, this is you t- know what I meant, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Yes, Nigel is my name. Hello. I don't... Did you tell him your name? I don't think you did. I did not. <laughs> Neither of you did. West is the only one. Yeah. I'm just well, gonna call... on board with this shit. I'm just West gonna call you Blue Shirt can. for now. <laughs> Luke is not a red shirt. No, fine, that, fine. that's my you. My name is Connor. Hello. This is Jack. I'm Nigel. You know this. <laughs> you retained information. Okay. Thanks. Okay, I so as, down the as, as the three of you get to the bottom of the staircase, uh, he opens up the large double set of wooden doors, and it opens into a uh, comfortable and rustic-looking meeting room. There are three couches surrounding a huge alveolar table in the center of the room with a circular rug beneath the whole thing. Uh, if you look off to the left side of the room, there is a kind of like small kitchenette in an alcove. Uh, there are two doors at the back of the room and a third door on the right. Uh, the place is like... Kind of sparsely decorated, but it looks homey. Looks like the kind of place that if it were not underground in a groundskeeper shack, it might have, like, a fireplace in it. But it doesn't. Nice. Because it's underground under a groundskeeper shack, and that would be wild. So I assume this used to be the, if I'm just taking a guess here, the old meeting room for the hunters? Yeah, this is the, this is kind of the hunters meetup spot, uh... Kind of gone unused for a while. I mean, I keep snacks. I keep the kitchen stocked because, you know. <laughs> some t- <laughs> I, keep, I keep snacks, then. But, yeah, I, I keep the kitchen stocked because, you know, sometimes it's a long day at work and you get off of raking the leaves for hours at a time. You know, groundskeeper things. <laughs> and you, uh, you just want to make a quick meal, but you don't want to go all the way to the cafeteria because the lunch lady's got it out for you. And, you know. And the mac and cheese is too expensive. Yeah, it's... The mac and cheese is cheaper than the salad. <laughs> the salad is too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wild things in that kitchen. I just like to avoid it. So I cook down here for myself. Oh, I've got a pot of tea on if anybody, you know, 
wants tea. Nah, thanks. I'm good. Unvelcroing one of my cargo pants pockets <laughs> to pull out a fresh jorts moon. So this dude definitely knows what a jorts uh, moon in is and just like nods at you and you're like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> I'll take some. Yeah. What time? I uh, the tea. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'll get two cups of t three cups because I want one also. Uh, in what yeah. world would I drink Jorts Moon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know what's in it. You don't. <laughs> That's true. You don't. However, this, he did. This is the Swissy speaking. I assume it's the same thing as a damn Capri Sun, unless it's the exact opposite. And it's fucking alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Jorts Moon is blood, no. Swissy. We talked about this. Yeah, we talked uh, about it's this. It's a wine punch. <laughs> Oh, Obviously. never mind. That then I don't that... say in what world would I drink this. I don't say that. <laughs> no, I I'm drinking my shorts, Moon. You assume I it's have probably in my cargo pants, <laughs> right? Correct. And to everyone else, it is just a juice pouch, probably. Yes. <laughs> right. I so, just happen to keep them on me. All Connor, right? Connor whips out Some a pouch of juice. <laughs> nice. Uh, That's why I wear mm. cargo pants. For your car, go. more like Congo so. Pants. Uh, the three rooms. So this is kind of the meeting room where we uh, discussed strategies and such. And uh, when the new, uh, when troubles pop up, this is kind of where we talk about it and make sure everybody's on the same page. Because uh, the kind of monsters that like to cause trouble around here are pretty dang tough. So you don't want to go into things unprepared. Like, just, I don't know, wandering into the woods with no idea what's going- You know what, that's not fair to you. You didn't know monsters were real up to this point, most of you probably. So it's, what you know what, mean? I forgive you. Don't worry about it. Uh, off <laughs> to the- <laughs> So one of those doors at the back leads to a uh, dusty library containing the collected knowledge about the mystical arts that we've uh, kind of collected. Uh, a lot of books about magic and such in that one. In the other do in the other door is the magical library, uh, or the magical laboratory rather, which you can kind of check out. And in this room right here is the arsenal, where we keep all of our oh, these weaponry. Are my yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is your expert ha havens. And off that way is the arsenal, where we keep all kinds of like physical weaponry. These are like. These are real yeah, weapons. <laughs> Just one. Just Maybe one someday. Upridge. Maybe someday. Interesting. Uh, so unlike the hard light rings that you use, these ones are just like like real ass swords and shit. I can swear around you guys. You're adults, right? <laughs> but of course. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This is where Thank we you. keep all. This is where we keep all the swords and shit in that room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And unfortunately, so, like, these weapons are real, so you can't, like, hide them on your person just by just pretending it's a fashion statement. <coughs> so, so, like, you know, don't, like, walk around with those ones if you can help, but but that's where they are. You guys got Wi-Fi? So, of course I'm I got, assuming it's a, by telling us all this and telling us... Of course I've got... Those, but not here, he, he, like, yeah. gets out of... He takes a, like, a post-it note off the counter... Which is like covered in dust, and he like shakes it off a little bit, and he hands it to you. And like, there's the Wi-Fi password. We've actually got. I've, the router. Router. I've got something with the headmistress, right? We've got a, like a sweet setup here. She knows about all of this, by the way. It's it would be very difficult to run an operation like this on a public ground without somebody knowing. Actually, you guys should probably talk to her. She knows more about all the. Like, I'm in charge of the hunter stuff, but, like, she knows a lot more about the history and all that kind of thing than I do. Uh, but, yeah, this is the Wi-Fi password. Connor logs into the Wi-Fi. Excellent. West gains some questions for the headmistress later. <laughs> Fair. West will remember that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so I, I can kind of see where you're going, West, and I, uh... I'll be honest, I'm kind of offering you guys a gig... If you're interested, I'm so old <laughs> and, and I cannot do this forever. And I kind of like, there's not really anyone to take over is the thing. Cause by, by very nature of the hunters, like the three families can't interfere. So they can't like set up a new one. Exactly. 
We kind of we kind of got to well, keep this going on our own. I know I'm in, but I know I also can't do it alone. He looks to the other people. I can't <laughs> ask. How Proudly much? drinks oh, Jorts we, Moon. Pay, payment? Oh, uh, yeah, we can arrange some payment. I can basic. We can uh, put it on your like you got a, like a part time job at the school, basically, if you want to do that. That's nice. how it'll look on the official books. It's definitely just like a monster hunt and check, though. <laughs> so, like, don't put that on your taxes specifically. <laughs> the paperwork worry, will be legit. He... I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> he sees, like, Connor giving him a look as he mentions, like, under the off the books taxes. He's like, no, it's all above board on the books. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Listen, if you're so worried about it, maybe you could figure out how to file it, huh, Mr. Businessman? Josh I mean, as long as it's still a W-2, I hope the W-2 doesn't say for monster <laughs> pain service, monster <laughs> no. slave services rendered. No, Unless for sure. the bank for sure. And the tax people are also monsters, in which case it's fine. Uh, why, why would there be that many monsters? Mm, that's what they run by lizard people. Uh, okay, well, that's just ridiculous. No, I, I did No, I'm definitely not asking that. I'm not a fucking idiot in character. As like as you, as you mentioned the banks, he's like, eh, well, yeah. I mean, there's <laughs> there's kind of so, so like a lot of the stuff in town is kind of the monster thing. It's yeah, you can kind of ask around. Okay, well, don't even the YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> Probably not the YMCA. <laughs> I see. Yeah, your rigorous background checks and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. And you're saying they just managed to keep this all quiet for all these years without anyone ever revealing their true identities or what they really were? You'd be surprised yeah. how good people are at doing that. Yeah. I don't know. It no, sounds she, like a lot of She's got watch. it. She's got I don't it. Know. It seems like some I, people. I don't know why you're being this. so cagey about this, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I know I've thrown a lot of shit at the wall, but I feel like you've got sufficient proof that it's not all bullshit, my dude. A thing this old man says, apparently. <laughs> the George's Moon has is long since been emptied, but Connor is still, is still attempting to drink it. You wanna... While, while like, inching towards the door. <laughs> oh, your tea has been, like, placed on the table and everything. He, he, he's the so back, your tea. so bump. <laughs> I assumed you were on a couch or a chair. I'm standing. I didn't sit down. Well, then your tea is just like sitting up. The tea is just sitting on the table. <laughs> then again, my leg is like, you know, jacked up. So, yeah, I sit in front of my tea. And, you know. Oh, you're going to want you're probably going to want something for that. Uh, hey, uh, Connor, can you I think there's a first aid kit like right at the back of the room there. Uh, Yeah, sure. I, gr I grab it and bring it to West. Thanks. Yeah, if you could just, uh, I first aid was never really, I was kind of, kind of one of the other ones things, but, uh. I mean, sure, yeah. I, I can take a shot at it. Yeah, it'd be okay. great do if I, I need, could get it. What do I, do I need a roll kind of something for that? Here. I think, hmm, that's a good question. I wasn't prepared for I'm the not, answer to that. I'm, I'm kind of bleeding here. He's not in combat, so I think Roll he's fine because he's not rushed. Is it a help out? <laughs> I, I guess. Oh, I would say like maybe. No, I, I would recovery. say maybe may act under pressure. Is that is recovery listed under one of the things? I didn't have the guy. It's open the second I'm a page. It says zero harm wounds are considered healed right away. Duh. One right. to three harm wounds improve when you receive first aid and later when you rest. Heal one when you do. Unstable wounds require first aid to stable. While unstable, they may get worse. And four plus wounds require a healing move. Time in infirmary, hospital, or magical healing. I wouldn't call this unstable. So this isn't like magical. I so I, w I would say help out probably, yeah. Either help out or act under pressure, but I think they're both plus cool. Do so. I have to roll anything for sitting the fuck still? <laughs> nah, you're fine. <laughs> for for being healed upon? Yeah, I mean. So you can you can either roll help out or act under pressure. I, I don't feel like the pressure is really on, so help out probably, but it's plus cool either way. 12. Uh, on a 12 plus, your help lets them act as if they just rolled a 12. Oh, this is... 
help out is when for like specifically for rules and shit so like i definitely did that wrong but i'm gonna say yeah you you patch him up real good your leg doesn't exactly feel like good as new but you can walk on it again and you may heal one harm uh nice which may be so all I you took check that right yeah sweet taken care of thanks connor no problem west you know you didn't have to say my first name i had already addressed you and replying you could have just said no problem and i would have known who you were talking to well we sorry it's for also using magic. your name west <laughs> sense in a lot of like background hostility here <laughs> tell you what i'll yeah so i guess west is in yeah, uh like the direction yeah no i <laughs> That's kind of an NPC thing. You don't have to like the players don't have to do it. <laughs> don't ask don't ask what any of that means. I'm not really sure. Sometimes Get the spirit takes dog. me. Oh, he absolutely is a <laughs> guy, by the way. I just realized what your question was referring to. He gets all the Jorts moon. Mm. Nice. That's sweet sweet blood. So, what? uh He's like, yeah, I guess West is in. Uh, how about the other two? I guess I guess you said as long as we pay you, which, like, I can do that. Some hunters yeah. work for free, but if you can't, that's cool. I'm not, you know, I won't judge. Money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Just got paid. Friday night. Friday night. Party popping. So, right. so he can kind of like... All around. He kind of like looks oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> While I'm getting down. <laughs> okay, cool? Twitch back, super boys. Okay, are we cool? <laughs> are we good? Yeah, go ahead. So he kind of like look. Mirror, he looks to wild. Connor to to kind of like like. Eh, you, you in? Connor is very is 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 having. Mm. <laughs> His eyes Connor's are darting around a lot. <laughs> Connor's in, says West. <laughs> no, Connor speaks for himself. Does he? Uh, but Connor will speak for uh, himself. <laughs> cool. I mean, hey, so, tell you what, I you don't have to make this decision like right this second. If you want to go talk to the headmaster, the headmistress tomorrow, and uh, get some more like info about stuff, you feel free. But like, y'all can chill down here. Oh, I do have to tell you, like, this is obviously a big, a big old secret. So like. Don't spill. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really bad if you just spill the secret, especially one that a lot of people are keeping under wraps for a long time, you know? Well, it's kind of says me. Like, it, exactly. Like, <laughs> well, I, I see where you're coming from, Connor, but, like, this is... It's hard to do this job without knowing some secrets. And as long as everybody's, like, cool about it... I mean, we've got contingency plans in court of place, obviously. But, like... As long as everyone's cool, and I think, I think he like looks at West and Adva. I think these guys are pretty cool. That's my old man knowledge. That's you know what my sight shows me that these guys are pretty cool. <laughs> my my sight sees that these people pretty chill. That was like obviously a joke, but like he he yeah. does he's you know he's vouching for him. <laughs> my dad doesn't know about any of this, does he? Oh no. You th you three are pro you three and the headmistress are probably the only ones on campus that know about this as of this exact second. Probably. And me. I, I mean, like leaks happen, but like we've we're pretty good. The headmistress keeps a close eye on pretty much everything. So like, if anything gets out of hand, people won't find out about it. Ideally. Okay. <laughs> like Men in Black style, right? That's not inaccurate. <laughs> hmm. I'll, I'll I'll let her explain it to you tomorrow. She she knows more about the mag the, the magic's not really my that was another one's thing. That's good. I want to talk to her anyway. All right, cool. Sounds like you've got a got a plan for tomorrow. So yeah, I mean like very much barely, but yes. <laughs> eh, you know. You've got most of a plan for tomorrow. All right, so yeah, he's he's just kind of like kicks back and tells you guys like you can hang out if you want, or you can like 
go home. He can, like, call you guys a cab if you want. I know two of you live on campus, so Connor has to get home somehow. Right. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Uh, it's probably about, like, eight or nine now, so it's, like, fairly late. You know, uh, it's a little stuffy in here. I'm just gonna... And then Connor just sort of, like, leaves the room. <laughs> All right. So I've kind of got, Let's like... Just... He is, he is get any questions out of the way later but he is he is ha he is hanging out outside for this for a hot second pacing <laughs> i see uh actually can west follow him uh, you can there's no reason you physically can't physically incapable <laughs> <laughs> there's no reason you can't. i just didn't want to fuck up your story but no nope, no he's just pacing <laughs> outside uh, i'm gonna follow connor and... In the are night. you being are you being sneaky about it no, just oh, uh, okay. Just gonna walk just gonna... out with him, I guess. In a way, I'm gonna finish my tea. <laughs> Excellent. Fair. You know, I've been thinking about. He talk. He starts talking to Adva. He's like, I've been thinking about installing like a TV down here. It's kind of weird that we don't have one. Odds, uh, you got stuck with the talkative one. <laughs> so you, he makes small talk with you while this is happening. Uh, so West. Standing, uh, you know, behind Please. the retreating Connor. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of suspicious of a few things. Tote suspicious, y'all. Yeah, this Nigel guy. I right. He's ooh. <laughs> he does the screw loose motion. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> but you opens the shack door. <laughs> Uh, as soon as Wait. you open the shack door, the stairs, like, ascend again. <laughs> oh. Well, huh, guess that's just a feature. Hey, wait. Adam <laughs> can't get out. Neither can Nigel. <laughs> he's like, as he hears the stairs, he's like, oh, there's a back door. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it does lead into the woods, I... so, like, we, I, I can, like, throw a switch and put the stairs back up. <laughs> I take another sip of my tea. <laughs> <laughs> Is it chamomile? I was I was wanting something like extremely fragrant but also super bitter. <laughs> coffee. That's right. that's exactly what he made. Weird. It's Good. a tea of coffee. Is that so, why the uh, others didn't drink it because they're too big of weenies to drink adult? Jorts Moon. <laughs> I drank tea. What are you fucking talking about? You never said that you drank the tea. You asked. Yeah, and, Con and Connor it, so Connor okay. was drinking blood. So like. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, uh, that's that decide hard? that's decidedly more metal than what you were doing. <laughs> Not necessarily. Have you ever drunk pure iron? No. <laughs> hmm. I can't say I have. Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, let me tell you about blood. It's got iron in it. <laughs> yeah, I I'm aware. Please Anyways, let them talk. Uh, so I said that thing about Nigel and opened the door. In response to Connor opening the door, assuming, uh, you know, it swings into the house like most doors do. Yeah. Um, Wes pushes it back shut. Oh. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> He's doing the head thing. He's going to confess to you. Come I'm on. Not, I'm not. <laughs> no, that's not, not what suspicious happened. of your intent as a person because obviously we took the zombies down. Together and you see alleged have zombies. No problems with it. <laughs> alleged zombies, yes. But Goodbye, I'm anything. very suspicious. You hear about those weather balloons? I hear they get everywhere. You know what? What I'm gonna ask? Huh? What are you? I'm Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Exposed. There's a Connor here. I see. Connor's incredibly unsure of what 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 to do. <laughs> Just I'm like Connor, if I were to take my sword, West takes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 <laughs> he doesn't do anything. He just has it. Oh, but he asks, if I took this and I, if I touched you with this, would it would it would okay, okay this skin. maybe you don't know this, but like the, you can't just like instant kill somebody by touching them with the sword. No, I know. I'm just I, I asked I, if you listen, I said, will it cut your skin? 
Uh, well, it's a sword, so probably. But it only harms monsters. Allegedly harms monsters. Allegedly. that confident in it, then my gun okay. should injure you. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, Wes takes the sword Wes. and he runs it across his own palm to no effect. Yeah, it it, uh, it feels like a rubber sword, essentially. Right. Like, you okay. could still probably bludgeon somebody with it, and it wouldn't, like, hurt them, but they'd be quite annoyed. <laughs> so, if you're Connor, uh -huh. that's all you are. Yep. <laughs> Hold out your hand. Uh. Hmm. I shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hurts a lot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I can roll with this. Bang! Fuck! <laughs> Let's this, back this... the fuck up. He's like, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, so, uh, Jesus. so Hama, how much harm does your gun do? I was gonna Three. say. <laughs> I'm gonna say you. I'm gonna dead. say That's take. Dead. I'm gonna say no. It's almost like gravely injured, but like I think you were at zero. So I'm gonna say you take. Let's say you take two harm. Fuck, dude. I, I, this, my eyes he, flick up from my feet in the hearing, face. Like, hearing that, uh, what's his... Nigel, like, Nigel. springs to his feet with a quickness you've never seen from a man this old and quickly <laughs> runs over to the wall next to the door and, like, throws the lever as the stairs descend again to allow them access. He's like, what the fuck is going on up there? I get up and follow him because I need to see this. <laughs> Wes uh, is backed the fuck up by now, and he's kind of very shocked that Connor just shot himself <laughs> in the fucking instead foot. Instead of taking the much easier route of holding out his fucking hand. <laughs> Can I unquenchable vitality myself? <laughs> yes, you, go ahead. Wow, they're real cool. Well, on a ten. on a ten plus, I think you're like plus, good. Heal two. <laughs> cool. Yep, heal two harm and stabilize two injuries. So you're. Your uh, grievous, really, like, exploded foot, like, slurps itself back together. <laughs> your shoe your shoe is destroyed. Like, there's nothing you could do about that. You but, like... You can rest in peace Connor's shoe and sock. Connor's foot like, now in the middle of the sure forest. Time. Your, okay, your Connor foot's is, all for sure this time. Connor, like, pulls himself into a sitting position. <laughs> and kind of, like, rests his elbows on his knees. <laughs> He's crazy. I was like, I know exactly what he's doing. He runs up. He runs up to the top of the stairs. Like, what the fuck was that? I I shot myself in the foot. Why did you knew in that? More the, in more ways than one. <laughs> you, God, you know. God damn it! I'm yeah. so, I'm so mad at you. <laughs> I, uh, was this you your? Was this the plan? Did you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Josh and I didn't plan this, by the way. I, no, I, we did like, not. I'm no. Put the fucking pressure on. Okay. <laughs> Nigel goes like, "Why the fuck you do that? Would hurt." Well, okay. To be fair, I thought there was about a fifty percent chance it might not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, I guess. I mean, I guess you're fine, right? Like. Are you yeah, good? No, no, it's it's good. I just gotta get some new sneakers. Yeah. Well, one sneaker. Yeah. An individual sneaker, but uh, see, foot's foot's all good. Cool. Mm. Kind of hey, size and, hey, uh, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. No problem on that. West is still a bit taken been... back, but you know he would have gotten me out of a lot more uh, revealing secrets. Had it not exploded my foot. <laughs> yeah. Did you shoot himself in the foot? I say coming up from behind. <laughs> Nigel. Yeah, I guess. Hey, yeah, yeah, I shot myself in the foot. You kids Amazing. are wild. <laughs> I think he's the wild one. I'm now that we're like somewhat outside, I pop my vape you're not, in my pocket and You're not outside. Out. You're still you're oh still in God, the shack. No. West, West closed the door on um, before oh, yeah, like you could still leave. Inside, then I so y'all are inside do still. I'm, I'm you not, don't start vaping in this man's shed. <laughs> no. You're not that uh, so kind I, of I'm not that rude. So uh Hmm. I didn't give myself many many uh many uh, openings <laughs> anymore, did I? 
No, I think okay. it. Listen, I so, knew the I knew the whole time, bud. But you let that cat out of the bag. <laughs> okay, so or bat out. Well, of the I bag. mean, to be fair, he's <laughs> gonna like stab me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Consentingly, I wasn't. <laughs> hold now, hold on. You aren't gonna like hit him with that sword, right? <laughs> no. No, I was going to let him willingly put his hand out. So, I could just so you could cut his, his hand face. off. <laughs> No, so I can cut his palm. Those what are you are talking wild. about? Okay, that's yeah, that's much less severe. Okay, I, of the two <laughs> things that happened here, I think yours was the less severe thing. Yeah, it was. There might be a bullet lodged in your floor, unless those disappear. I don't yeah. know how this gun works. Yeah, they're not real bullets. It's there's there's just a hole there now, but like, eh, it's old. There's many oh, yeah. holes in this floor. This thing is Wild. a fucking building hazard for I, sure. I disapparate the gun, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, yeah. Okay, fine. Well, all right, fine, okay. But we gotta go back down to the secret room. <laughs> <laughs> the stairs are still open, so like, yeah. I get up and I so... I walk with my my with my shoe barefoot <laughs> shoe barefoot down the stairs, <laughs> slowly. You've still got, like, the back, so, like, the top of your shoe is still connected and some of the back, but, like, the entire front of your shoe is just gone. <laughs> so, it looks Tell ridiculous. Us. Oh, sure. Um. Just wait Wes... till your sister sees that. So uncool. Um. West, after seeing that show of faith, I guess? <laughs> in a way. <laughs> I think it was more faith in the fact that it wouldn't happen, but, you know. Uh, he does ask Connor, at least you know he. Can I'm I down at least... the secret. I'm down. They're the down. The, room. He All went right. down to the well, secret. I'll follow. I'll everybody follow. goes down. down this round. Everybody yeah. goes down to the secret room again. Back down. We're down this round. And Nigel so close. Gonna, Nigel I'll, closes I'll, the door. I'm gonna sit. Yeah. I'm gonna sit down at the, the at the oval table. I sit down too. Where my ha head was. firmly in hands. <laughs> Connor has goofed. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I think I call that more than a goof. Hey, guess who okay. didn't guess who didn't plan on this? <laughs> okay, fine. Josh, okay. I bet. <laughs> okay, everyone. All right, fine. Oopsie. Okay, this is all what Connor's saying, by the way. I assume. Okay. okay. Fine. Good. Fine. No good. Fine. Good. This is great. Okay. All right. So the, yes, the the gun shot my foot. <laughs> And yes. we got that. I ab I appear the gun and try to shoot West. <laughs> it holy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you do you do that and th the bullet fires and it makes an extremely loud noise in this enclosed space. But like West, you basically feel I like you got hit by like a tennis ball. That's uh, still kind of rough. Like uh, okay, what, uh, what's some, like a like a foam Where like golf ball, like a foam oh, golf okay. ball. I don't know. Where was he aiming? <laughs> a wiffle ball. Yeah, it feels dart. like you got yeah, hit by a. It essentially feels like a nerf dart. That would have been a much better thing there. to say. Ooh, ooh! Do you make West the Minecraft noise? Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nerf dart. <laughs> Nigel kind of okay. like shakes his head. <laughs> I know, right, Mala guy? <laughs> God damn! Just, just it's just it just happened, didn't it? <laughs> I welcome Anyways. Rack Maple Vale. <laughs> so, okay. And clearly there, West is still... It, it didn't do anything to West. Nah, I like... So... It. I'm very glad. I'm sure glad it didn't because we'd be down the PC. <laughs> so this, uh... This, this may lead you to a conclusion, which is in <laughs> fact correct. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> He he he! Uh, as Connor's trying to say, he like mumbles the hell out of it. That's okay. <laughs> West interrupts. You're a monster. <laughs> uh, you, I hope you mean like you, like not in like the metaphorical sense, right? Because it's the literal one. Correct. I mean, like I can yeah. just if you if you're having trouble, bud, I can just say it. I I the sight. Nope. Dog. Nope. Nope. It's fine. I got okay. it. I got it. All right. It's okay. okay. I, hey, man. hey, we got this. hey, I trust you. All right. All right. Okay. 
I, my last name is Von Helsing. <laughs> That's the vampire one. Holy shit. No. <laughs> uh huh. I, I continue see. sipping my tea. <laughs> so, uh. Um, Adfa seems nonplussed. I, uh, I am a half vampire. Which is how I healed my foot. So you're a vamp or a pyre? Which is I, it? Mm, I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> yeah. And this is like the worst thing that I could possibly be doing. Telling just a bunch of random people about it. Oh, I knew. But I'm not. Well, okay, Mr. <laughs> Sight Man. That's great. You're not the one that's going to get disowned if this gets out. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> so, um, uh, I really need you guys to not tell everyone else. Connor, I... So, hey, I actually, I need you guys to not tell everyone else, too, because, like, the people in this town don't know about the monsters. Yes. Except for the people in the except families. The ones that uh, yeah, the, except for the people that are, like, you know, related to them or whatever. But, like, most of them don't know. And we're definitely not supposed to break the masquerade, you know? Oh, like that old no, game. I know... <laughs> I know, since I'm in, that I can be trusted with the secret. But what I want to know, Connor, can I trust you? For, for, what? <coughs> To do what? Are you... I'm assuming... I did just try to shoot you with a gun. <laughs> if that affects your decision. What I'm asking is... Where does the blood come from? What blood? What are you talking about? You just assuming Von I drink Helsing. blood? Von Helsing's. They, groundskeeper you... man here said they were vampires. They drink blood, yeah. right? Uh, they never said that that is what they okay, do. Okay, well... That is that is entirely fair. Do you hurt people? I'll put it. Me? Simply. No. <laughs> okay. That's very that's a specific. that's about the most suspicious way you could have put that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I I guess so, I'll apologize. I apologize for making you shoot. For making you think you had to shoot yourself in the foot. Look, it would have been great if it hadn't worked, all right? <laughs> it would have been. Da, everything's great. Everyone thinks I'm just a normal, normal guy. And we'd mosey on off into. Yep, and then I shot myself in the foot. <laughs> Hurt a lot, by the way. Well, you Goddamn know what? Magnum, dude. Shit. As far as I, I. As far as I'm concerned, you are Connor Caldwin. And I won't. I won't say anything. Obviously, but you know. Well, just felt like right. I should say it directly. Oh, okay, thanks, thanks. The blood's in these jorts moons. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to tell me that, but you. Well, did. as long as we're giving it up. <laughs> Gourmet blood. I crack open a second jorts <laughs> moon because I've earned it at this point. <laughs> Man, I've really done something to this stream, haven't I? Oh well. I think this was a group effort. <laughs> Had to put the pressure on, man. Uh, like, Josh didn't have didn't. to shoot himself in the foot. <laughs> it felt like the only natural way out of that. Well it was It was it not. Was, it was gonna result it was gonna it was gonna resolve the issue in one of two ways. <laughs> it was the same process, but with Fewer steps and less sneakers. <laughs> All right. So, like, so, is, right. is there any other, like, so, particulars you want to get around to on this night? All Wes wanted to know was if he could trust Connor. and if Where the blood came from? Be. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, we basically run, just run, like, a blood bank. It's not like we... We don't like you have to kill people for it. Turns out they produce way more blood if you, if you just compensate them. And act like a normal blood donation place. So, yep. 
Cool. Well, that's drinks blood moon majority that's moon. Incredibly reassuring. Blood moon. You know, it's like those plasma clinics, except we don't spin out the plasma. We just put it in Jort's moons. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sorry for getting aggressive there. That's really not like me. So I hope going forward we can think of this as just a... <laughs> just a weird a thing, thing that, that happened. <laughs> that happened. Well, it was no, a thing I mean... and it did happen. But I don't think I would have been able to sleep tonight had I not <laughs> confronted you. You know, no, it's really on me for uh, not realizing that I should have just not tried to heal myself and fight against the zombies. Well, instinct I was kind instinct. Was kind of hoping no one would notice that. I say with like my shirt still like clean. <laughs> it's still through. torn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, instinct is instinct. You can't. I assume you can't help that kind of thing. You know, growing up, they try to t they they teach you about how to not like get discovered. They don't cover this. It's not anywhere in the training. <laughs> they didn't tell you to shoot yourself in the foot. I bet that much. It's well, okay, that's fair. <laughs> but also, would like to point out, it could have worked. Could it? So uh, there's a chance. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Can it would I be like, you? maybe it would only do like the half of the, the getting shot in the foot part. I don't know how it detects monsters. So can I ask you, Connor, is the reason you didn't want to be in on this because of your secret? Yeah. <laughs> the oh, more I... that if we're going to be going around hunting down monsters and fighting them, that's that. Well, two things. One um, it's gonna be hard for me to not reveal vampire powers in the middle of a fight, especially if it becomes life or death. And and the the second is, I don't know if like my family's gonna have an issue with me joining the hunters or not. Uh, if you mean the family, he, uh, Nigel kind of cuts in like, if you mean the family at large, like, you know, Dracula's cool with it. This is a reveal okay. to. This is a reveal to. Uh, <laughs> West Wes, probably. West literally says, out loud, "Fucking the, what? The Dracula? Oh, Dracula! The <clears throat> yeah, you know that Dracula? Yeah, that Dracula is the kind of the head vampire around these parts. Yeah. Fucking what? <laughs> he's he's my great 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 grand uncle. That is by far the craziest thing I've discovered. Runkle. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, that yeah, if so, if you're if you're if she was worrying that like the the von Helsings will be like, "Whoa, man, hey, don't do the vampire secrets." Like, don't worry about it. They're they agreed to the pact that established the hunters in the first place at the founding of Maplebrook. Oh, uh, well, I guess if they're okay with it. Yeah, I, I don't I'm, want you to feel forced into it just because, you know, just because you shot yourself in the foot. No, I mean, hmm. <laughs> this is just not something I was anticipating having to deal with when I woke up this morning <laughs> for school. Yeah, this has all you been one day. That's fair. But think about how I feel. Oh yeah, you know that's live. true. You probably didn't uh, think that you're gonna meet someone related to an actual Dracula today. I may look a little calm on the outside, in spite of what I've just seen, but I am. Did also shoot my foot off in front of you. <laughs> in the I'm legitimately shaken up right now. Yeah, you're probably because you're just like a guy. The adrenaline, I yeah. I am just a guy. I'm just a guy. Between you and me, I still don't know what that makes, Adva. <laughs> He does in a stage hey, whisper. Hey, 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 don't worry about that. I don't really either. <laughs> Connor I and I both turned to Adva, I assume. <laughs> I finished my tea and put it down. <laughs> what? So, are you... You know. If you don't say anything, he's probably going to try to cut you. <laughs> That's... Listen. 
That seems to be his drastic, modus operandi. I don't. Okay. Drastic I, times, drastic measures. I can cut in before you have to like start attacking Under each other again. It, it won't work on. It won't work on her. She's human. I was gonna shoot myself. In the head, <laughs> just, yeah, I don't. This takes my gun. This. I don't want to win. West for even more of a loop because he was for sure that she was gonna be one too. No, I, I was gonna She's... do the Persona three thing and just take it on the edge of my head. <laughs> Yeah, I but I don't want to have to witness that is the thing. So like, I'll just she's human. Yeah. Huh. I That's don't know. Fine. I don't know exactly what her deal is. Uh, she's got. Uh, she's got like wicked holy energy, like like <laughs> loads of it. <clears throat> but I don't. I'm not familiar. Like I can see that right with the sight, but like I don't. I'm not familiar with the specific kind of energy she's given off. Man, I added way too many grades. Can you do like a vibe get... check or something? I knew I should have what? opened this family tree earlier. <laughs> <laughs> pretend I, everyone pretend I only said like four grades. <laughs> I got to type all this in, by the way, that Connor shot himself in the fucking foot. <laughs> Look. Wes, did you just ask a question? Was, I was, I zoned out for a second while I was checking my notes. He was Connor. Connor was freaking out, and he took it into his own hands. And you know what? It, it did it did it not resolve the issue? <laughs> I mean, I I I don't think it really resolved the issue. It just kind of the issue is now no longer there. It, the issue it's is no longer an did issue. Get resolved, but it's it's springboarded into another thing that did resolve the issue. But also, you shot yourself in the foot, and now you need a new pair of sneakers. And your look, sister is going to dunk on you as soon as she sees you. Look, okay, foot's fine. The shoes are not a huge deal. I you can get you can get you can go get yourself a pair. You know they got buy one get one half offs on those all the time. So, uh, Nigel. Yes, Is, is I'm Dracula Nigel. Vlad the Impaler? Does he go by Alucard, says Molokai? Nigel, what's our next step if we're going into this? Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more <clears throat> reconnaissance. Well, I need you guys to go talk to Diane, to the headmistress Gabriel, sorry, uh, to tomorrow. She'll kind of, like, fill you in on a lot of the stuff you're going to need to know for this. Uh, I'm going to see what I can find out about the monster. Like, we need to figure out its weaknesses, what it's doing, what it wants, that kind of stuff. The where it, singing monster. W where I it assume, is. Which is a monster, yes. Yes, for sure. Like, whatever is, whatever is doing that singing, it is uh, for sure affecting people around here. And I don't... I we don't know exactly... I say we as if it's not just me. I don't know exactly where it is right <laughs> now. But we're trying to find out. I'm trying to find out. Wait, so the headmistress is a Gabriel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that makes this easier for me. Yeah. No, she probably <laughs> she definitely already knows all three of you. She's yeah, got she's she, got uh, eyes on fucking have... everything around here, dog. <laughs> they play they play a lot of peacekeeping in between us and the lupines. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wrote this down. The lupines <laughs> lack class, you see. This is Swissy, by the way. Uh, mm. I wrote this down. I'm not sure how accurate it actually ended up being in the end, but Diane was a friend of West's dad? Yes. I think? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So West I mean, says, you might know well, that. I'm sure she has heard of me, but... Maybe. You know what? Oh, West has Oh, yeah. West oh, yeah. Coach Wordsworth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know if he knows that, but... Yeah, knows. no, yeah. Yeah. He's probably heard of it. And she might also, as he looks to Ava, she might also know, or Adva, rather, uh, she might also know a bit more about your deal. The angels know more about holy stuff than, like, I'm not... See, I was kind of... Back when our crew was a thing, my me and my guys, I was kind of the him, and he points at West. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of... Is that a I've, good thing? I mean, like... I you think should... that means he was the nerd one. What? I I have okay. the sight, but I'm like not I'm not part monster. I don't have any like magic powers or anything. I'm just a guy. Oh. 
I that's mean, okay, I guess the site is kind. Reassuring. The site is kind of a magic power. Yeah, I outlasted all of them. How's that, huh? Right. <laughs> uh, my friends are dead. Anyway, he takes a big swig of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Being old will do that. Yeah, I guess but we should agree to meet up tomorrow and uh, speak with Diane. I would not yeah. be on first name terms with the headmistress and necessarily but like you know you do you <laughs> head, head mr scabry or whatever you want yeah that's more you know see you were diane. referring to her by diane so i just got confused yeah but i'm is all. okay old. i'm not i'm old <laughs> i was gonna say older than she is but that's a decidedly oh, untrue totally and i'm her john the great too is now son, following thank you so you know yeah you know what yeah it's yeah you guys just meet up with diane tomorrow she'll fill you in on the stuff that you need okay Okay. Well, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna, West finishes office gonna, tea and, uh, I'm going to go home now. So do you I, like... I pull out my uh, phone and call Benson. <laughs> hey, Benson, you want to bring the limo to the middle of the woods? <laughs> you're not in the middle of the woods. You're, like, on school grounds. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, I just assumed that his woods band cabin was in the woods. I'm just going to ask Benson if he can come pick me up. Yeah, because Benson. Because I'm very tired and my shoe is broken. Did I give Benson a, did I give Benson a voice last time? I don't I think don't I remember. did. I don't remember. I don't think I did. loud rap. That's v all I remember. Very good, sir. <laughs> I'll be right there. Thanks, so, Benson. Nice. Uh, do you, yeah, you hang up. Benson's on his way. Uh, West and Adva can go back to the dormitories, which are, like, just down the hill. There's, like, there's like a lit path. So now I've kind of got, like, individual things for uh, the three of you, and that'll probably wrap up tonight. Um, okay. Let's right. see. Skip through this stuff. Skip through this stuff. Okay. Uh, Do we want to go over since we started late? Maybe. Yeah, I, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see how I'm much. I've, I've got some stuff. Like, I work in the morning. Uh, okay, I gotcha. There. So, so we'll go to the plan stuff. Is so we'll start with uh, West, I guess. So West, uh, you get to your room. It's on the second floor of the dorms. Uh, oh, oh, I've been waiting for this. Actually. Room, room two o two. It's right next to the stairs, okay. basically. And Doug opens the door. No. no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you get to the door. You have your room key. What do you do? Uh, I enter. All right. As you open the door, uh, a small rubber ball nearly hits you in the face as it sails past you into the hallway, bounces off the somehow wall. That's the least bad thing to happen today. <laughs> right. Yeah. It bounces off the wall, bounces back into the room, and lands in the hand of a, a man. It lands in the hand of a man. That's okay. fine. Uh, the man has deep purple hair, a headband that covers his eyes. He's wearing a red tank top and faded jorts. Uh, you can, Wait a minute. You, <laughs> ca you catch the glint of sunlight off the peace sign that's hanging around his nest, neck. Uh, you catch the glint of the lamp in the room as it cut, as it uh, clips off his gauges, and he's he is wearing socks with sandals. I can't believe you're <laughs> this... rooming with weed, man. <laughs> he's like. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't no! see you there. Because <laughs> the, the door was closed. The door was closed, so I didn't see you. Because of the door. What's up? <laughs> Wes is just so stunned. And so... As Swissy is so shook. So disappointed. As Swissy is shook remembering who this is. <laughs> A character only Swissy would know of the three of you. I'm trying to remember specifically. Will you... I, I guess I'll find out in a minute. But Wes is still shook because he was under the impression that he was still in a singles room. Nope. He has <laughs> not yet been told by anybody in the staff that the, he is, in fact, rooming with somebody. So yeah, he is so just so are you my tired. So are you my roommate, dude? Like, well, I guess I'm that makes... staying in room 202, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, me too. That's weird, man. I guess that's why the key worked on the door when you opened it. Anyway, and he uh, he's just like standing in the middle of the room and you suddenly realize he's standing on a skateboard. And he just like <laughs> <ap> <laughs> he just apropos of nothing does a kickflip 
and then like jumps backwards off of his skateboard onto the bed on the right side of the room. It's like, so, what do I call you, dude? West, like the direction. Like, oh, how, well, that's so weird. How'd you know? I was, are you a psychic, man? I just have good intuition. Cool. My name's Brad. <laughs> His name is Brad? Oh my, my name's yeah. Brad. Where's this guy from? I know he's from something before. He was one of my RP characters. Short-lived. Oh my god, yeah. The fucking, fucking callback. <laughs> the callback. Holy the shit. The name's Rad Skate Son. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, I remember this guy. Wait, does that mean he's of Icelandic descent? Because that's how their legal system works with last names. <laughs> yup. Son of Skate. Amazing. Yeah. Nice to meet you, dude. And he, like, holds out a hand for a handshake. You're he, he holds out a hand what? for a handshake despite the fact that you're still standing like 10 feet away at the other side of the room. <laughs> Wes closes the distance, and you know what? He's shaking hands with a vampire apparently today, so he, you know, he shakes hands with this guy. You mean no, he threatened a vampire <laughs> and then made him shoot his own foot? No, you guys like met before that. It was earlier in the day. It's, it is, okay, it's true. We did it's have, like, a, we did nice have to a nice you. lunch together. Nice to meet you. I hope we can get along, man. Anyway, well, good night, dude. And then he, like, lays down in bed and instantly starts snoring. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a legend. West, uh... Assuming this guy's a deep sleeper, considering that... Yep. <laughs> he takes a seat at... I, I assume hey, uh, act, hey, act under pressure for me real quick. Oh my god, why? Uh, hang on. <laughs> no. Oh my God! What's what? that? What's that? Cool. Don't you what? have read God something damn. about this? God, that, that doesn't count for that. Doesn't apply here. Uh, you, oh, you oh yeah, it does. It's when you act under pressure. I should have rolled that. Well, well, do you want to do it again? But, I mean, I already passed, so whatever. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you, uh, you deftly avoid the skateboard that's still laying in the middle of the room as you make your way over to your Fuck bed. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I was really hoping Fuck you'd you fail. Fuck you for even trying, <laughs> I wanted you to fail so bad. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I assume there's, like, a desk or something? Yeah, there's a desk. There's two desks. One on each, like, they're yeah. both in, like, the back corners of the room, essentially. So the remainder of West night, probably before going to bed, he's gonna sit down there and uh, open up his notebook and his notebook few, or uh, his notebook or the other one. The notebook. Okay. Uh, and I can move to the notebook. No. Add on a few things. He he starts at the very last page, so ah. not to interrupt anything that's already been there. Right, right, uh, yeah, yeah, where makes it's sense. blank, and he starts going, you know, pages right to left. That way, he knows what's he what he's written. Um, okay. And he starts writing the things from today. Yeah. Okay, so as uh, Wes takes his note, we're going to cut over to Adva. Uh, so the student dorms are split into, like, uh, two separate buildings, essentially, with, like, a sky bridge between them, because I think that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, cool the You go that's off, great. you and Wes, like, part ways, like, at the, like, little plaza where there's, like, a small fountain in the front. You part ways mm -hmm. there as he goes to the left side where the uh, men's dorms are, and you go over to the women's dorms. And your room is up on the fourth floor. And as you get to your room, uh, as you're like getting out your key to your like key card to like enter the room and Slide. settle in for the night, you hear uh, a shuffling noise in the bushes on the ground floor. What All do you right. do? Uh so uh, it's 17 stacy oh no <laughs> it is not I sure hope not. good i'm not she's not in the mood to deal with a stacy this late <laughs> she will murder a fucking stacy if Wait, she even so sees one i'm up on the fourth floor or am i still outside you're on the fourth floor you're like uh it's like a balcony situation oh so i guess i look out down at the bushes <laughs> Uh, you see some of the leaves rustling, but it's too dark to, like, make out anything down there. Hmm. How about that? And, like, I as as you look over, you hear whatever it is, like, 
dart off in like away into the darkness. I see. How about that? I'm going go to my room, I guess. There's yeah. not much to be done if it's run away already. Yeah, okay. Alright, is there anything you particularly wanted to do in your room? You've got a single. Sweet. Lucky. Uh. <laughs> You've got a single because I didn't come up with a rad roommate for you. <laughs> you could have just made it a Stacy. It would have been awesome. No. It would not. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Because you don't want to do the Stacy voice a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> Too bad there's at least twenty. Stacys. There's. I've canonically I've written four. That's already enough for me, but there will be more, I'm sure. All right, so yeah, you go into your room and like I don't know, what do you do to like wind Take down for it? Yeah, you Take do have probably. you do have swim practice tomorrow. I think we said right. You have it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and this was a Monday. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah, probably you, take you, a shower. Probably maybe yeah. if there's anything else I would do other than that. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so you cool down for the night event basically and settle in. Uh, Benson, uh, Connor, Benson comes to pick you up at the school. There is a quiet and I'm sure somewhat uh, awkward drive back as you are. He doesn't. Benson is very polite and doesn't ask you about your torn shoe, torn shirt and missing shoe. I do, Malachi. That's the secret. And as you get home, uh, he opens the iron gates uh, in front of you to let you in. And you both walk up to the front door. And what do you do? The lights are on in the living room. Uh, you can see them through the windows. It's, they're kind of like a... Yeah. Thanks, Benson. No, no problem, sir. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Caldwin are not home tonight. Uh... Although I believe that young Mistress Colswyn does have a guest over. Oh no. <laughs> God, does that girl ever not have a friend over? She's got like like six of them. It's crazy. Maybe, maybe seven. Wild, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Off the chain. Thanks, thanks for not asking about the shoe, by the way. I don't really have a good way to explain it at the moment. My you job... fucking brought it up anyway. What my, the fuck? <laughs> my job is not to ask questions, sir. Uh... Oh, shoes. He it winks. looks like you shot yourself in the foot. <laughs> he winks. Oh, Benson. <laughs> Ooh, can Benson and I have a cool handshake? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Commence the cool handshake. All right, it's super it is cool. as they say, sir, two chain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, as you right. enter the like entrance hall, uh, you can see off to the left is the living room, and that's where uh, there's like the sound of a TV playing in that room. Okay, well I'm gonna try to avoid going that to, to going that way as I make my way to my room. So as to get rid of my destroyed shoe. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you hear, uh, like, giggling from that room. And uh, you, I mean, you just t probably, like, take your shoes off at the front door because you're not an animal. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, obviously. Well, I take, th I take my shoes off, and then I stare at them for a bit, considering my <laughs> options. <laughs> and... Uh, hmm. I guess. Uh, what's the nearest garbage can? Like right around the corner in the living room, basically. You know, I'm just going to huck them in there. All right. So as you like turn into the living room, uh, you you see a site. Uh, your the TV is playing. A site? Maybe. It depends how you feel. Uh. Your sister is in here, along with somebody that... Mm, I don't know if you've met her before. Uh, your sister is currently, like, uh, has her arms around another girl in the room. Uh, she has... Let me scroll to my description page here. Uh, she has, like, mid-length brown hair and uh, pink eyes, black and white plaid skirt, wearing a gray hoodie with uh, knee socks and sneakers. Uh, she's just... They kind of look like they're just, like, you know cuddling 
And as soon as you, like, are visible through the doorway, uh, Lizzie instantly, like, leaps backwards on the couch to, like, get as far away as possible and starts turning bright red. And I need you to act under pressure real quick. Oh. Oh, boy. Did, you just did she leave her skateboard out? No. <laughs> You quickly I'm duck to the cool. you quickly duck to the side as a book lodges itself in the wall where you were just standing. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what the Connor fuck, day. Connor? You didn't tell me you would be home. It's just a normal school day. <laughs> would you, where would you think I would be? I don't know. Maybe you have friends or something. Whatever. God, well, get mm get out. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm just throwing away my shoes. All right, fine. Ben Benson, like, <laughs> just like, I, what? <laughs> it, is, it is now Connor's turn to be taken aback as he's holding his one tattered shoe and staring at the garbage can. I can't believe West has created problems at home for Connor. I mean, I feel like they were there already. If she's uh, immediately jumping. Now, the now here is a question: Have you seen this girl before that she's with? Hmm, that's a good question. I as I assume Connor would like attempt to keep up with Lizzie's friends, but not be super confident in his ability to tell them all apart. Fair. As he, as you know, he is not. He's, he's, he's normally like, hey, what's going on? And then Lizzie throws something at him, I imagine, <laughs> given this circumstance. Yeah, she's uh, she's acting real embarrassed about this whole thing. Meanwhile, the other girl is just kind of, like, chuckling. I assume Connor is is not, is not is fairly wise to the situation. Yeah. As I don't think he is an, an, an idiot, per se. No, this is, uh, this is, like, probably her girlfriend, yeah. You can figure that out yeah. from the context clues. Yes. So, um... So, you are currently staring... Connor... To, she is, like, staring at you from across the room, beat red, as Laura's, like, <laughs> laugh... Or, you don't know the person's name. Uh, is, like, laughing to herself, and you are st standing, hovering <laughs> over a garbage can with one <laughs> one shattered shoe. As, as Benson... Shoe as Benson, like, walks up behind you and, like, starts to try to, like take the book that is currently wedged in the wall out of it. So this is certainly a situation you find yourself in. <laughs> I find myself in. Benson's actually already carrying drywall uh, compound and tools with him to fix it. I'm not even joking. That is what I was playing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, so, uh, yeah, I, um, tripped? Yeah. Mm. Um, on... Oh, she was just all... Yep, and I throw the shoe <laughs> right in the garbage can. Yep. So he's gonna... She, uh, the mm -mm, the so the other. This? <laughs> she, uh, the other girl waves. She goes, "Hi, I'm Laura," and Lizzie goes, "Don't talk to him. Come on, let's." Go. <laughs> Connor is also like very casually, not casually, putting like an arm vaguely over the torn part of his shirt sleeve. <laughs> Must have been quite, uh, Laura says, must have been quite a fall. Yeah, I wasn't, I was looking at my phone and I ran into a lamp post <laughs> <laughs> on gravel. You know, they're pretty sharp. That does kind of sound like him. Come on, let's, let's get out of here. And, uh, uh, Lizzie stands up and starts like trying to drag, uh, Laura <laughs> out of the room. Okay. And, well, uh, and she like drags her. She drags her down the hallway towards where you know that uh, Lizzie's bed is. Laura just kind of like waves to you casually, like "bye." <laughs> All right, uh, you scamps. <coughs> How old is Connor? <laughs> Twenty-three, I think. He's also yeah. a businessman in the making, so you know. He's he's also just super. Not on on his A game right at this exact second. <laughs> I, I West may have shaken him. Whoops. Well, is he, Benson he, still he, trying he, to get the book out of the wall? Uh, Benson Does Benson he, has removed the, the work and is beginning to uh, beginning to what's the word I'm looking for? Fix the wall. Dry spackle. wall. He's beginning to spackle. There we go. Hell yeah! I left dinner God, for Benson. you on the. 
table. I didn't know how long you'd be. You may have to heat it up in the microwave. God, Benson, you're just like the best. I know. Benson. Sorry, sorry, Lizzie put a hole in the wall. I did. You know, I did not expect her to do that. It's fine, sir. But I mean, you know, you know how teens be. You know, all the hormones. It's weird to think I. What not? Yeah, it's weird to think that I just was one, yet it seems so strange being on the other side. I know, sir. It's been quite some time, but I am familiar with the feeling. <laughs> huh. Well, hopefully they don't get into anything stupid or whatever. I'm gonna go get dinner. I'm gonna go give them their weed, sir. He winks at you. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> It was he was clearly joking. <laughs> yes, Connor definitely realized that. Except <laughs> he, he maybe didn't for a half a second. That's why Benson winks at you and then uh, continues spackling. I've put into my notes Benson is the place to get some dope kush. <laughs> Getting the the dank kush. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Con Connor just just walks to the kitchen. All right, uh, you have yourself a a weird dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what was his dinner? I don't know. What, what did Benson make for you? Mac, Probably mac and cheese. He made your favorite, I bet, and then also like put blood on it, I guess. <laughs> so it's so he took meatloaf and replaced the ketchup with blood. No, that can't possibly. Be. What about nice chicken marsala? Yeah, he made you nice. Blood. He just made you blood-covered chicken marsala. <laughs> Bloody oh, Marsala. Beautiful. Now that's a, an, he's a that's good an interesting... Eh, I can think about that later. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So you eat, you eat your dinner and I assume just like go to bed and try to process a lot of the things. <laughs> Stare at the ceiling happened. for a while? Yeah. <laughs> Look in my closet for spare shoes. You oh, shit. I meant to exchange numbers like back at the shack. Fuck it. Yeah, no, we could, we could say you did that. Like, there's no reason. Wes text you up. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Is that your response? Because I did text that. That's canon. Con Connor Googles you up in Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> what does he find? Let's go. Let's oh, my God. Well, Hang on. Hold on. Well... Time to derail. You up, Urban <laughs> Dictionary. Invitation for a booty call or sexting. Usually, Usually received as a text, text message. message. That's not what I get for West. Hmm. Oh, I'm assuming that's not what West meant. <laughs> or is no, it? No, it's not. <laughs> Do you send a follow up to that as you realize what you've done? <laughs> not that kind of you up. <laughs> Is that the next thing you've sent? Yes. In rapid succession. Yeah. <laughs> in rapid succession. This is the most exhausting experience Connor has had in in many years. <laughs> I hope you realize this. He just fought yeah. two zombies, and this is doing it. Con yeah. Con Connor replies, "I am awake." If that is specifically what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, yep. I'll, I'll buy you some new sneakers. I'm sorry about everything that happened today. No, you, you don't got to buy me sneakers. It's fine. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can just swing a, a, an extra pair. It's not not a big deal. Okay. Uh, are we cool? I send a uh, thumbs up emoji. Wes cannot send emojis, so he just gets a. Oh really yeah, weird he, gets, he, gets, he, gets he gets a square yeah. box. He has a flip mode. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, I kind of definitely forgot he doesn't have a smartphone. Wes just says, "I'm going to assume that was an emoji." Uh, I hope it was a good emoji in quote. Yeah. Nice. 
one of those newfangled emojis. <laughs> Next arc, Wes uh, gets new phone. Phone shopping arc. No. <laughs> I'm going to assume that was a, a good emoji. Oh, oh yeah. LOL. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Or, oh, yeah, you just remembered I have a flip phone. Connor has fallen asleep. <laughs> what? West is in turmoil over this question. <laughs> He's not really in turmoil. He goes to sleep too. Okay. Uh, so as the three hunters, newly christened, I guess, hunters, uh, go to bed at their very at their separate parts of the place they live. Uh, that's gonna do it for us tonight because I have to sleep. So. Uh, wow, we didn't even get to all this other shit I wrote down. Dope. That means nice. I have more stuff for yeah, next time. Extra. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, uh, I think that was a good night. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> a lot happened, that none of which I was expecting. I, <laughs> I ha I'll tell you what I had written down. I had those three, like, separate events written down that just happened to all of you. I had uh, the reveal of the base so that West had his sanctuary. I had Nigel's... You're still streaming, by the way, just so you don't say anything, you know. Yeah, I had Nigel's speech written down. All the other bullshit that happened <laughs> was the right. magic of tabletop role-playing games. Look, yeah. all I knew is Connor was not about to be like, yeah, I'm a vampire, Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ninja, you do know why West would have asked if he, you know, do vampires hurt people. Yes, so, I do know that. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like... Yeah, I think I we, like think I we had a good night. But a lot, of food, was, a lot of fuel for the Connor X West fan fiction. <laughs> you know, he did Water. pin me against a wall and then draw out a sword. No, I shut the fucking <laughs> literally, door. Literally, literally happened. You. I had to shoot myself in the foot to get him away. <laughs> that's not how it happened. That's what, no, that's how he remembers it though, Swiss. He's got the, I didn't affront the, myself the on you. you up. I can't wait for the fan art of Wes putting his foot up above Connor's shoulder. No. Foolish. Please, no. He's only wearing khakis. <laughs> My khakis are too weak for, for your car <laughs> <laughs> all right well yeah that's gonna do it for us tonight folks we'll see you tomorrow for final fantasy uh thanks for watching <laughs>